Hi, I'm Terry Cavell, and I'm thinking about Thanksgiving and all those dishes and things I have to get out to go with a big dinner. And of course, the plates are a big hassle, but you need teenagers to set the table. But Victorian times, they had a whole different problem. They had more silverware than we ever have seen today, and they had a special serving piece for every single thing. So I'm going to walk you through a Victorian dinner. The first thing is a, sh is a shrimp fork or I suppose you could use it for an oyster or other, other small items that you'd eat in the first course. And today we also use them for pickle forks. And next comes a really weird thing that came later than the Victorians. It's a Victorian, a Victorian, it's an asparagus server, not Victorian. And you put, put the asparagus in here and you used it to eat the asparagus. Kind of strange, it came with individual ones for each person and we have eight of those, we bought them in a set. I used them once, the guests were thoroughly mystified, I never used them again. Next comes an English, um, it's a stuffing spoon. It's not just a regular serving spoon, but it's a stuffing spoon and it had the, the sort of fork-like end on it, which made the stuffing come out of the turkey much easier. And this is an English piece from the early, about 1800, 1780 to 1800. And you can tell that because the end tips down and sits on the table. On a new one, it would tip the other way. But that's a whole other story I'm going to tell you some other day. Next comes something that's really from the 1950s. It's made by a, a silversmith smithing company, actually a, a silversmith who did a lot of things. And this is labeled in their catalog as a toast fork. Now, I'm not even sure how you used a toast fork. I assume that you stabbed the toast and picked it up that way. An ebony handle, sterling silver, handmade, and it's maybe you took the toast out of the toaster. I don't know. If anybody knows, let me know. At dessert, we're, oh, we're up to dessert. I didn't bring all the carving pieces. You can serve cheese with a piece that we actually got as a wedding present. It's part of a set and it has a lucite handle and that's a sure sign that it came from the 50s because that's when plastic became as valuable as silver to many people and I'm still using it. Bet you can't guess what this one is. This is a real what's it. It's an arts and crafts piece. It was made in, the, in America from one of the better known arts and crafts studios. You can see all the hammer marks and it was used, ready? It was used for sugar cubes. Now that came for the coffee and you had to get a sugar tongs to pick up the sugar cube. You really had it to do here. It's a nice item. It looks pretty. It's useful, but it's very difficult to find the cube sugar. So if you're going to try to find a sugar cube holder, just remember you also have to find sugar cube somewhere. The one that I like the best, I think, is this. It is not a scissors. It's a grape scissors, or a grape shears, and it doesn't look like a regular scissors because the blade is not a blade. You can see it has a flat spot, so it cuts very peculiarly. And you put this on the tray when you served your food, and your guest could cut just as much as they wanted. Nice idea. So you cut it off, you snip it here, and you get a, a group, and then you have your portion of grapes for the day. I had one when we first got married that didn't work too well. So when I had someone out that was sharpening knives, I asked if he could sharpen the grape shears. And instead of sharpening it, he just took it and he pushed on it right in the middle. And it worked fine after that. So I said to him, what are you charging? He says, well, I'm charging $20 for this. And I said, just to push on the grape shears? And he says, ah, but you're charging for my knowing where to push on the grape shears. And he was right, because I couldn't have done it. And last, we have a cake breaker, not a cake cutter, a cake breaker. And it was, it's used and it's still used today. You find these in any of the new, the new stores that sell kitchen goods. They're usually in chrome, not in silver. But you stab the sponge cake or the angel food cake and then you break off the piece. You do not cut it with a knife because that squishes it. And it really doesn't look pretty to have squished cake for dessert. So that's what you can do for your Thanksgiving table. And in the meantime, it's a holiday weekend, so go out, keep collecting. You never know what you're going to find when you're out looking for antiques.